I hope you guys are excited as I am. It looks like a lot of people are coming back because the one thing a lot of people were waiting for has finally happened. It's John f***ing Zoidberg! And you guys are gonna be hearing my bad impression of him quite a lot. Hey guys, it's Wilbits! I did not think this was going to be coming this soon. Um, I thought we were gonna have a couple of other mini events before we got more story chapters, and honestly, I thought it was gonna be a while before Zoidberg showed up. Um, I have so many things to click on. One second. Ah, there we go. I actually wanted to click on all of the things, because to be honest, I need the money. How about loaning a couple of dollars to your old friend Zoidberg? So there's a pop-up that comes up sometimes. Um, I had it before. I was hoping it would come up again. It looks like this. But otherwise, there's nothing to actually indicate whether you're ready to go on, other than that this mission that's been sitting here for the last couple of months, Reveal the Government District, actually works now. Rather than having the error message, you can press the button, and it'll just... Yeah, yeah. We'll get this cool scene of the artifacts doing stuff. Is the sounds it probably should have made. You revealed the government district and Decapod 10, so we're gonna be killing a whole bunch of Decapodians, I imagine. HG Blob reports that the new brains behind the Amazonian Vampeter is none other than... Mom. Mom, of course, the mother of all mothers. Make her like a grandmother. What tell me, how did Blob survive the Amazonian snoo snoo onslaught? Uh, best I can tell, they went right through him. And then he dissolved some of them. Probably. Hey, looky here! Professor, I found Zoidberg. He's repeatedly diving into a dumpster in some kind of infinite loop. Should we get him out? Who now? Zoidberg, the smelly, annoying, incompetent doctor, your best friend? Oh dear god, yes! Get him out immediately! I need that dumpster for an invention I'm working on! I'm gonna be throwing it away. Stabilize Zoidberg's dumpster, that'll take a good 12 hours, so, you know, I got a late start on this. But probably people are gonna have to wait for this to happen. And if you're just starting out, then you're kind of, you're kind of done. This is like, get to wait on these guys to finish out some stuff. We're going to send our other one to finish off this block back here. But we're also going to rush through this because, let's be honest, we don't want to stop there. It takes 12 hours to get the zone and then another 8 hours to actually clear out Zoidberg himself. So, it's going to take 20 hours before you can even begin doing this stuff. Although you can go ahead and run Decapod 10 immediately, I actually recommend waiting until you finish unlocking John Zoidberg. I don't know why I keep wanting to use his first name, it just makes it makes me laugh every time I think about it. Um, because he does actually need some stuff, so we're actually going to spend a little bit more pizza and just pop him on out. Sorry, I get aroused in crowds. A perfect beginning. So, to unlock him, you will need fish bones, which are cargo drops on that beach day mission that we've already got. I'm which is why you want to wait. I'm very important. You will need the decapod apartment, which costs, ah, 135,000 Nixon bucks. I don't even have it right now, so I can't even rush that out. Rushing Zoidberg out, let's just look at it, would be 1,710 pizza. Do not recommend. Get it the old-fashioned way. You'll need old shoes, which you can collect from the- Oh, see, I messed up. I collected everything. And I shouldn't have done. Because the Fudo mat isn't- The 6 hour and Madison Cube Garden is also 6 hour. And they were sitting there. And I knew I was gonna rush. And want to look at stuff. And then I clicked them all anyway because I wanted the money. So your first challenge, and honestly, Saturday is coming up soon, so you're going to want to use that Nixon Buck um, area. Go you're going to be spending most of your time grinding that out. Um, the other main things that are going to be coming in are going to be... Uh, notice Elzar actually is here with a price now. You can actually spend 165,000 Nixon Bucks. 
and drop Elzar's fine cuisine. So um, we'll be getting that at some point, though. You'll probably have to progress in the quest line to get it. And I don't know if I'm quite rushing Zoidberg just yet. Um, there's also another outfit. It is Nude Professor. He's here. He's got some pixelation around his nether regions, around his bits. He's got some bits on his bits. Um, he's a captain. This is uh, the professor's third captain skin. All of his skins are captains so far, but this one's at least his story, so it'll show up somewhere. Those are the things we're going to have to look forward to. Um, I could... I, um, so let's look at the map, because that's the other thing that I'm... Not this one. Although I gotta run that later. The thing I'm hearing a lot about in Decapod 10 is that you are going to have to be leveling up some characters. So let's get our crazy team to fully clear this map, i.e. to run anything other than this easy central path through here. You will need your previous district characters, Amazonian Amy, La Barbara, and HG Blob, leveled up to 39, 37, and 33, respectively. So you're going to have to promote all of them to at least three stars at some point. I like this better than what we saw going on with the, um, the alpha event that's still ongoing, by the way. Um, that I've been kind of ignoring. If you notice my quests, I, I'm not very far along in it because I don't need it. I've been taking a break this week, sorry. Um, but with that one, there was a lot of pressure to get like level 70 characters in some cases within what is like a two week mini event. And I guess if you really, really, like if you miss those characters and you really, really need them, you did have the time to kind of work on leveling them up. But, um, and I think that if that challenge had been one that didn't have an end date, if they were, if, if like Slurm Duke Fry and everybody else were like my shopping list of the characters I need to level up in that order to progress in a map that was going to be evergreen, that was always going to be around, I think I would have found that to be a really fun challenge. And so these don't bother me that much, to be honest. The idea of leveling up these story characters to three stars as like the next thing you do is actually a little appealing to me. It's actually kind of fun to be like, oh cool, I have my my A team that's going to be fighting right now. But as I level up these others, I have a long term goal to check out these other paths. I think that's neat. I don't mind that because we don't have to have that done two or three days or a week or two weeks from now even you've got indefinitely i wouldn't wait too long on it because it might take i don't know how quickly zoidberg is going to start getting integrated into events he's probably not going to be in the next one and maybe not the next one after that but the next time we have a big month long whenever that is maybe it'll be valentine's day maybe mom's coming in i don't know how that's going to work um, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a premium Zoidberg costume show up the same way that we had seen some for Leela really early on during the Omicron event. Oh, I kind of skipped past it. This map actually has a suggested level of 31. So some people may already be biting their fingernails a little bit over this one. Don't worry, this middle path, from what I hear, is still pretty easy to clear with level 30 characters. Don't be too intimidated by the fact that I'm running through it with like a 99 crew. Um, these guys are one-shotting stuff. With a 30 crew, you will be able to get it. Okay. You might lose a character or two towards the end. Bring your A-team. I'm not just A-science guy, I'm so belated. Also, this is a long map. This one's not going to be fun to grind, just as many, as many fuel stops as there are. And I hope that these cargo things regenerate, because it's going to be a little tricky getting into those side paths, I think. Some, please. Let's look at the boxes, chips, bones, bones. Okay, seeing as you can get things that aren't bones, I'm assuming that you're going to be able to grind this multiple times to get the things that you actually want. Let's just duck our head back in. Yep, suggested level 31. But don't worry. Okay, good news. Even after having finished the path, the boxes do respawn. There are probably more boxes on the harder paths. I noticed there are three. Yes, three on the easy path. 
actually every path seems to have exactly three boxes. You're not rewarded by taking like the really hard 39 Amazonian Amy paths. So there's no reason to rush that other than just if you want 100% completion, you are going to need to run those eventually. But for the purposes of unlocking Zoidberg, these all have the exact same stats on them. It takes about 40 fuel to do a run. So a full tank will get you through like twice. But yeah, I would mostly just suggest as fast as possible just focus on getting these decapod apartments ASAP um, because it takes eight hours to drop and it's the only way to get these apple cores and they drop every eight hours. So that's probably going to be one of the biggest barricades. I know that a lot of people had trouble with the entertainment district. There were a lot of really big expensive buildings looking here at HG Blob's house. Those were all like 100,000. I was worried it was going to be an even bigger jump from 100 and, from a 100 and something to, I don't know, I was really worried we were going to log in and find that the buildings were all like 300,000 Nixon bucks. But they're like 130, which is still more, but that gap feels more manageable because the previous gap, like the buildings doubled or tripled in expense. Um, only adding, only adding another 30k feels a lot easier in today's daily planet having economy. I'm Dr. Zoidberg. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really tempted to blow a bunch of pizza to just show him off and unlock him some more like I did with the previous district. But honestly, when I did that in the previous district, it just felt, it just felt wrong. It wasn't fun. Um, and I don't know that there, that this video is gonna, as, as much as I would like to read off, read off a bunch of Zoidberg text and try to tell you all the things in the story, I think you're better off, um, a lot of that information is gonna be better gotten in text format elsewhere in just a more concise manner. Just enjoy this one a little bit. It's nice to have some content that we got for free. As far as I can tell, there's no premium characters that have been thrown in. We're not being shaken, shooken down. This list is getting really short, huh? We've got the Wongs, Nibbler, Zap. When Zap show? I actually thought Zap was gonna be in this district. I'm a little surprised to see Elzar, but the list of characters who are here in the character screen is slowly getting checked off in a way that I didn't actually expect. I was I, I was talking a lot about how Avengers Academy still hasn't released some of their main characters. Um, it took forever for Family Guy to get some of their characters, and this is it. Other than Zap Brannigan and Nibbler, I guess, the entire core cast is now in the game. That's great. Um, hopefully that... I'm not sure where else they go from here. We're missing them, Morbo, Mom, and like... We start running out of core characters really quickly. So that's the other thing, is that are we done? There's no district to tease anywhere else on here. So either maybe eventually out here in the ocean we get more land eventually. I don't know if that is going to come with story or if that's going to be like over here where they just give us a big chunk of land and I've already I've already filled it with Christmas stuff. So hopefully more land is coming even though I know we just we literally I know I know that we literally just got this land and I'm in a video being like where's more land? But the next event's just going to fill this up. So we just need to get something there. Is mom going to be a story character or is she going to be a Valentine's event? At what point do the events just become entirely brand new characters wholesale? Xmas started to see a little of that with Snowmotron, Turbo Neptunian, and then all the power suits. The, those things had never been in the show, but it was still mostly stuff from the show. I'm wondering at what point we start to get events that's just an entirely brand new episode with brand new costumes and things never before seen. I don't mind that as a concept necessarily, but I do wonder a little bit about how about how grounded they're going to be able to keep it and still keep that nice Futurama flavor, and at what point do we get like a celebrity cameo that just feels like, that's weird. I don't know about this anymore. But yeah, I'm not going to show off all the different elements just this time in this one. Um, just because I know how much time and resources are going to be spent on leveling up these characters. And that's really difficult to go as it is. It's no longer level 30 
felt a little easier to just kind of get out. Um, 99 has been a... I still only have one 99... I know you guys are probably like a 99. I have one 99 character, and that's pretty crazy, but it has taken a Herculean effort to get a character up to that level. I know a lot of you guys are probably looking at just even the level 31 map and the level 39 Amazon Amy and kind of freaking out a little bit. How do you guys feel? Are you enjoying this? Are you glad that Zoidberg here? Let me know when you get him. Um, I'm tempted to do more stuff with the, 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 the things on there. It might be fun to do like a voice acting theatery kind of thing, but I, it's not worth it to me to spend the thousands and thousands of pizza that it would take to get all the fuel and all the drops and all the everything else. So I'm going to leave it here for now. I think we've still discussed enough. If you were missing characters, this may be a little stressful because if you are still looking to get things out of these alpha boxes, you don't have the fuel for it. You're going to have to choose between delaying unlocking Zoidberg and circling back and getting the extra characters. That kind of sucks because you want Zoidberg. Hey, Zoidberg! Everybody wants Zoidberg. Why not? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Maybe some garbage. Bye for now!